That's what you need to film. You need to, <laughs> you need to get you an underwater, like a, you need to start a YouTube channel. I need to get an alligator, a fake alligator. Right, a remote control. And just have it come up and start chasing them. If you're coming up, that's even scarier. We are on the bridge today with Mr. Tommy Goodwin. How you doing, Tommy? Doing great. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I'm excited. Thank I'm excited to have you here. Thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. I, I want people to get to know you, man. I've seen some signs sticking in some yards here lately. Yeah. You're running for tax commissioner? Quite a few of them, yeah. Tell me about that. I uh, just decided to try to make a change at the tag office in Lee County, you know. And a lot of my family and friends said, you're the man for the job. You're a people person. That's right. You absolutely. Know? You have. I've dealt with customer service and 18 years of law enforcement, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So why can't I deal with somebody upset about coming to pay their taxes, you know, try to make it easier for them. Right. Better hours, you know. Right. Absolutely. So let's talk about what you do. I want people to know what you do. I want people to get to know you a little bit. Let's talk about what you do. Well, about um, six years ago, Sheriff Rachels with the Lee County Sheriff's Office asked me to go to do uh, internet crimes against children full time mm -hmm. during the daytime. Okay. I looked at him and said, are you sure? And he said, yes. Wow. Within the first three months, we had six cases. And that's Three with, months? First three months. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's with me, that's proactive police work. That's basically pretending like I'm a 13 year old girl online. Right. And catching predators. It's preventing a child from actually. Because in person you could not pass oh, as a 13 year old No, 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 not, not at all, not at all. Right. Not my voice. My body characteristics, It would be difficult. Like you Very. Know, you, I guess you're just too manly. Very. You know what I mean? Too manly, but too anyways. much hair on the face, you're right. Mm -hmm. Our sheriff says, if they can drive, if a predator can drive with the day's drive of Lee County, you go get them. We've been to Alabama, we've been mm. to uh, South Carolina, Florida, Louisiana to pick up people. Wow. And uh, it, we've caught 64 people in the last four and a half years. 64 in yeah. four and a half years? Yeah. And at the GBI, they teach us to pacify the pedophile. So basically put the hand on the shoulder and they 100% conviction rate and haven't lost a case. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty serious. Yeah. So do you actually go with them to go pick up these people? Oh yeah. I'm you the go with them. officer, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes, arresting officer. I can't even imagine. Yeah, but it but it turned out very, very good for Lee County because in the last two years 2014 and 2015, Lee County has received awards from the GBI mm -hmm. for the most internet presentations given in the state of Georgia. In the state of Georgia. Yeah, that's true. My partner and I, Daphne, Lindsay, teach from eighth grade to kindergarten. Really? Te so you te actually teach the kids yes, the what proper way to utilize yes. the internet. What to do, what not right. to do. What you'll get, if you get caught doing this, you'll get in trouble. And once you take a picture and send it, you can't unsend it. Sense. And every kid's got an iPad. Parents yes. buying the iPads at the age of five, you know, six-year-olds, seven-year-olds with iPhones. A lot of mistakes happen with kids, eight, nine, 10, 11, and the parents will catch it and come to us because we have the technological advances to where when you do upload something into the cloud, mm -hmm. it'll come back to us within 30 to 90 days from NetMEC. And say, this has been uploaded, this has been done here and there, you need to go investigate it. I know it's a tough job, but uh, I'm glad you guys are doing it. Glad yes. you guys are staying on top of it. Appreciate it's really it. good. All right, so it sounds like you got a lot going on. Um, how do you balance that with so many kids? I do have five children, but the youngest one Five lives, children? Five, yes. And my youngest one lives with me. The rest of them are grown and gone, so. Now tell me their ages again. 17, 20, 23, 25, and 28. If I ever need any parenting advice, I will give you a call for okay. sure. Okay, that'll yeah. work. Man, I, I can imagine sometimes it can be stressful. Yes. You gotta have hobbies. I have right? some hobbies, quite oh. a few. Yes, and I've heard. Yeah. I've heard you had some. I heard you do some diving. Yes, I do. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, we uh, recover artifacts, you know, with landowners written permission from small creeks around here. Mm -hmm. We so you dive in the creeks and rivers and stuff like that yes. around here? Yes, okay. elephant teeth, shark's teeth. Yeah. Shark's teeth? Yeah. How does that happen? Uh, <laughs> millions of years ago, you know, all this was underwater. And then oh, when yeah. the rivers and creeks started to form, they came out of the lime rock, you know, and the bones will stay there. Right. But the lime rock will continue going downstream. Stegosaurus bones? 
No, found any of those? Not Stegosaurus. T-Rex. Auriculitis. Auriculitis. That's a shark. Huge okay. shark. That's crazy. Mastodon teeth, mammoth teeth. You found mammoth teeth? In Lee County and Darty County, yes. That is incredible. Mm -hmm. Yep. So who all goes? Just yourself and some other people? Or? The whole family used to go, but uh, once they get you know, 13, 14, 15, they don't want to hang my dad anymore. So being underwater in the Flint and all these rivers and stuff, I mean, you've got to see snakes. Snakes and alligators. Yeah, I've had snakes in the creek. Uh, we were sitting there, just crawling up through some fast water, and mm -mm. A, a snake will be moving like this, mm -mm. pretending like it's a stick in the water, and they'll pop a fish. They'll pop a fish, well, yeah. which means they'll pop your hand, right? They could, but they just go between your legs and get out of your way. Between your legs? Well, yeah. I mean, scary. you can't beat it. South Georgia heat, it's 110 degrees outside. You right. go underwater, you're away from the gnats. That's right. No gnats. Yeah. You want no gnats, get down in the creek. That's right. Now, what's the biggest alligator you've ever seen underwater? Uh, down in below Tallahassee on the Osceola River. About a 12, 13 footer. Um, mm. Water was crystal clear too. Usually that water's black and you can't see your hand in front of your face, but we could see 20 feet that day, and I came up in the embankment, and there he was. Staring at you. Oh yeah, all you saw was the white around his eyes and the oh, white gosh. of his teeth. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as he, the silt went next to him, he knocked my mask off, and I pulled my boat up to me and pushed it under my rib cage and pulled me up out of the mud. And I just laid in the back of the boat and went and found my partner, <laughs> and he was up there diving, and I jumped through the anchor on top of him. I said, man, there's a monster gator back here. He said, don't worry about it. So then I jumped out and I found an eight inch giant sloth claw right in front of him. When you're finding stuff, you don't care. You don't care about the massive... But when you're not finding stuff, you get that, uh, who's looking at me, who's following me. And when you hear the shovel on the bottom of shells and rocks, ah, uh, what made that noise? Right, and so the in the heat of the moment, 14 foot alligator doesn't stop you from finding a shark tooth. No, nah. but if you're out there finding nothing, you're wondering, uh, where is he? I know he's here, I know he's here somewhere. But you have a device, a very highly technological device that <laughs> that supposedly keeps these gators from attacking you. Can you tell us what yeah, that is? It's just a potato rake. A cut off potato rake with eight inch tongs. Is it sharp enough to penetrate the gator's nah. coat? No. Nah. No. Nah. Just Not to give all. him a little push? <laughs> just to let it, when he chews down and bites, hopefully he'll bite that and start twisting with it and I can take off. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I would freaking, I would poop my pants. How deep are you in these waters, man? Oh, well, I was 25 to 30 feet, but I came up uh, to about five feet when I saw the gator. About five foot of water? Mm-hmm. Okay. I was coming up trying to find my location because the water barely moves and the Alcilla mm -hmm. is tidal in flux and it's just like being in a bathtub. It's not moving that much. Right. So when you find these, uh, different artifacts right. in the water. I mean, do you just collect them? Do you sell them? I mean, uh, some valuable ones I, I hear. 50-50, yeah. Some I collect, some uh -huh. I sell. What's the most valuable thing you've ever found? Pretty valuable. Was it like a tooth or an arrowhead? Um, arrowhead. Can we get that much? Arrowhead. It was an arrowhead. Arrowhead, yeah. Right. But you can sell like to certain people around the South that are very interested. California, Japan, everywhere. Oh, okay. So you sell them online? Uh, basically, you have a clientele. You know, I've been doing it for almost 30 years. So, Tommy, you're working for the Sheriff's Department, you know, catching and finding predators, doing a lot of internet education, which is really awesome. Running for tax commissioner, but not only are you doing that, you're an adventurous, gator-poking, arrowhead-finding phenomenon. That's, that's incredible. You know, you don't hear about that very often, but we want to we wanna do a follow-up story. We want to actually come film you diving. Can we do that? You sure can. Stay tuned. We're going to see the tax man in action. And hey, I'll vote for a guy who wrestles alligators. You know what I mean? We'll see you next time on The Bridge.